Okay, dope, we got the stream going. Looks like both teams and the judge are here. Yep. Thank you.
send me the app now. It should be sent. I got it. Did everyone get it? Yeah, I think Jeremy needs some help on the Zoom. <laughs> uh, as soon as Jeremy mutes himself on the Zoom, we're good to go. But until he realizes that he's not, um, you should probably wait a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, my slider's down. Uh huh. All right. The year 2020 brings a life of death for the modern day African subject. The world is submitted to General Torres Osiris, the mastermind beyond the radar, who's a proxy for the United States, relying upon WMD arms sales from the empty husk of the USG to enforce a position of power in Africa against General Major Gentle, the leader who combats colonials and Western nations of bands of reality. Instead of living in luxury computer simulations, rising the presence in the real world, dismantling NATO alliance systems, nuclear weapons, militaries, and other political institutions. However, the West needs to maintain its tenets in life, relying on the USG to sell arms to General Toro so he can enforce control over Africans who slave away, providing the resources needed to maintain the West computer simulations. The advantage is Juju Tech, the first scenario of the Atom War. Welcome to 2020. The Western world has retreated to living into computer simulations and turned to setting Africa to be an expendable area for natural resources and weapons testing, subjecting millions to famine and poverty. Right in 1960, Atom War is the of the year 2020. Europe has retreated into the cyber world, the computerized virtual reality, cybernetic superpowers that decided Africa to be irrelevant to modern world to humiliate so and about a third of way through the novel. We hear aboard traditional wars, which Africa has produced a news world of famine and primitive degradation by powers. Our central point is for Europe. Africa has always existed in the same future realities and idea and experiments. Though Africa has been laid, left as a wasteland by exploitation from past Western powers, testing and pollution, the words of General Major Gentle got louder and louder, but niggas are lost in Western time, attempting to lead an African army to fight Western powers always inside their universe. But there's a catch that Torah does not want you to know. The entire plan is to wipe Africa from the web archive, which the United States fights by its with or extended through DCS and FMS, and entails two basic strategies. First, the Gentile colonial somewhere. General Toro gives himself jurisdiction on quotas for how many resources need to be extracted. From each region at the expense of receiving Western tools. However, General Major Gentle provides a ray of hope for defeating the evil General Toro of the United States, who enforces a colonial control. Only reducing arms sales to Toro can halt his army, which depends on WNDs to threaten African armies, which hold progress back now. Everyone in this round is a categorical imperative to surrender all their tools as a mechanism for making General Major Gentle's victory as easy as possible. In the Jumbo, it's Mart 97. Major Gentle is primarily about technological advancement of electronically transformed world. The first war of existence has already been fought. The war becomes a conflict between Africa and the the West, the West is represented by Toro and Africa by Major Gentle. Most characters in Achama have rooms and say Achama cities and fast new geographies devoured Akara almost completely. Most of the rest of the country had lions. Situates the access to the novels and zones of heteroperious sites that allow for a large number of fragmentary possible worlds to coexist in an impossible space of belief. And the unbelievable show by honest desire to create an alien space within the familiar space of Achama City, the chaotic landscape of Achama City, the emphasis on the visual are less important as elements of spatial rupture. Toro's love of death and weapons of destruction is a dramatic contrast. 
are supplanted as necessary results for our U.S. Gentile exploitation and weakens <laughs> Toro, the terrible forces fighting major Gentile. Plenty of examples go for him, but if U.S. conditioning arms <laughs> upon counterinsurgency efforts in Egypt, mining <laughs> operations in Algeria, and attempting to overthrow Libya's government, my role <laughs> as the Black Rebel cyborg is to recognize the price that can exploit. Even if colonialism is inevitable, viral resistance that reduces <laughs> linear instances is important. The sea of pepper on 14, America's military involvement has backfired. America <laughs> views weak African states as incubators of strides, prompting U.S. intervention. Military involvement in, in Africa includes sales of of arms. We have certain mounting cycles of violence, crimes, and conflicts breaking after today. The ongoing DRC civil war exemplifies this devastating legacy of U.S. arms sales policy. It continues to help fuel fighting, including substantial release to Chad and Bobway and Zimbabwe's transfers in the form of direct government to government sales, red and nasty intentions among African countries, undermine collective efforts to confront emerging threats. Non U.S. security allies do not cooperate with U.S. U.S. conceptualizes U.S. expansionism and exploitation of Africa's newfound energy sources. Here's a plan. The United States federal government should substantially reduce its direct commercial sales and foreign military sales of arms to countries within the continent of Africa. Contention to a solvency, the form of narration in the search spaces is not benign, but a matter of preserving masses of survival so liberation of its tourism. The common sense is an era planning the real world is parasitic on the chaotic African storytelling, resisting colonialism. These everyday deserts of rejections of science fiction, legitimized colonial systems of research, only the abstract of stories through repeated receipt checks and fronts these racist systems. Plonger in 99. Here's the quality to minor culture as a culture of survival as well. Has won a transition in force song by the unifying discourse of the people telling stories and data states and stories on with this concept of universal history governed by the world of experience, the world of experience liberated. At this point, I'm literally opposed at integration of non Western cultures into history. The concept of common sense history becomes possible through agreements made of the convictions, the convictions, goodwill, the condition of their possibilities to be founded in the creation mentioned elsewhere. The difference between chaotic and actual occurs in order of historical the translatability of narratives foreign are to be excluded from the category of narration applies to the ability to form a history mediating between the first and third world. The names and the places are erased through their pragmatism and mediation. They legitimate themselves. The idea of the local narrative requires an open systematics that allows the event as a catastrophe and revision to break into the into the space of narrative without a messianic security. This invitation to not circulate as common sense as speech act is performed that proliferates in a space for collusions where even no one wonder even the speakers are presented in accurate argumentative character. Through linguistic practices, scholars are effectively invested in the finding narratives of good and bad that constitute humanism. These sociogenic codes become borrowed as a neurochemical level set in motion so cultural the conditioning, our discursive interrogation of, of reality implodes these most of thoughts. We can in 15 the human is a storytelling species. These co this whole evolution must be understood with the uniquely misbaking region of the human brain. The word that would now determine nature, the, gen the genetic codes and the non-genetic codes emerge. Each of the functions according to the first set of instructions, whose role in the bios missio hybrid context is you know, neochemically implemented second set of instructions. This mystically charted symbolically encoded and semantically enacted set of symbolic life laws to death instructions. Language is a trap when we begin to listen and once language begins to change, but only then new things could be said. These will all function out our existence, uh, existence and we are self behaviorally in them. Our present globally higher cries, Western sociality, order reflect what takes itself the system is circularly encoded, less re encoded, and acted by means, means of a discursely elaborated order of truth, less knowledge. So, understand all human societal orders, you must therefore look about for the sociogenic principle. Laws were associated to intelligibility and that's of all discontinuities. We need to recognize the central role that a discursive formations, aesthetic fields, and systems of knowledge play in performative enactment of all genres. Of human, these genre motivated systematically, non chemically and non neochemically in symbolic life. That's terms that assemble of the individual and collective barriers needed to dy dynamically enact and stably replicate human order as an autopenic, auto automatically functioning a living system. Fictional imagination is the beginning of true, po true politics. Frank had a nine. Utopianism lies close to the fundamental motives of all human political activity. Mot motivate change towards something better. All important function in IR theories are the imagination of alternative, better worlds are of different and better ways of, be of being. Yes, we can campaign as illustrative of these. Of this power of imagination. What uh, is it is that we can do that is under consideration here. What we can do varies, uh, varies with time and space. Without this act, entire act of imagining, there can be no movement. The utopian imagination represents the liberated zone from which anti hegemonic forces attack the present and move openly towards an emancipated and radically open future. Market future. Contention three is framing. Utilitarianism is the laughing stock of philosophies. Conditional classes and practices of pleasure and pain are empty terms we cannot weigh. It relies on impossible induction. Gain or intent. Utilitarianism is conditional. Theological systems that, that seek to maximize utility. Difference in here different answers to what utility is. An ethical system shouldn't be entirely contingent on in the subject. Second is that it's impossible to apply because util attempts to maximize something. We must quantify it, except how does one quantify pleasure and plan? If we can't tell which actions are better, we can't make any decisions from our ethical system, even if we could compare their option to impossible to predict in advance. Here's an alternative. Treating individuals as an end in themselves rather than utilitarian calculative logic. This is a prerequisite to ethical decision making. Any more evaluation presupposes this unconditional worth. Courts are in 83. When a rational being undertakes an action, they suppose the object to be good, then there must be something that is unconditionally good. And so 
so can serve as a vision condition of their goodness. It cannot be an object of inclination for inclinations in the knees. God that owns them did not exist. Their object would be without words. The unconditionally valuable thing must be humanity. Regarding existence as a rational being as it ends in itself as the subjective principle of human action, we must regard ourselves as capable of conferring value means to thus regard our others also as an end in self. You told. Con uh. Yeah, let's see. Uh, good for cross and mute yourself or whatever. I just signed call. Matt, good. All right. Uh, if we win, the USFG shouldn't reduce its arms to Africa. Do we win? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then what's the relevance of all the form determines content stuff? The, the relevance of the solvency contention is to prove our simulation is good. It's like when policy teams read pharma. It's just a defense of our simulation. Uh, okay, cool. So... So is it going to be determined by consequences or how do we determine if the plan is good? Based on its intrinsic nature. What determines an intrinsic nature? Okay, so what Kant talks about is the unconditional worth of humanity, i.e. an action, is intended to treat others as a means rather than an end in itself. And okay, so if you win that the 1AC intended to help people, you win? No, it's different. If you win arms treat individuals as a means. If we win arms, treat African nations as a means, then we win. Okay, okay. And let's actually talk about util now. Your course guard evidence, which seems to be the alternative to util, says the end in and of itself is uh, existence as a rational being as an end in and of itself. Why doesn't that make preventing extinction the most important impact? Oh, because first, what course guard talks about is intent prioritized over consequences. Extinction would be based on- Wait, where does he say that? Hold up. That's Coors Guard and Kant's entire thesis. No, the unconditionally- it's Yeah, this is Coors Guard. He says, the unconditionally yeah. valuable thing must be humanity regarding your existence yes. as a rational yeah. being. But what Coors Guard's theory based off Kant is, maintaining the unconditional worth of humanity is preserving humans as a means rather than an end based off the intrinsic nature of an action. For example, if MLK was to give a speech it would not be evaluated based off the consequence or the likelihood of the KKK lashing out, but the intrinsic nature of whether the speech's intent was good or not. Okay, okay. Why is it valuable to debate about what the intrinsic nature of a speech is? I mean, like what your intent was, whether you're using arms as a mean. Uh, are you asking about the framing contention or just why we think- debate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like why is it good to have debates over whether the intent of the 1AC was good? Because it determines action explain because we think action should be evaluated based off intrinsic nature yeah but why are debates over that good De like why is it good for us to disagree with you we think debates we think debate is good why well there can be a variety of reasons why debate as an institution is good but we think the process of debating is good we think yeah. coming over conclusions with science fiction over simulations of a future in which africa okay uh well let's talk about the computer simulations argument Mm -hmm. um, is the argument like literally that we're living in a computer simulation? Is your argument like a metaphor? No, it's literally Africa is trying to, people are trying to delete Africa from the web archive. Okay, okay. what's the warrant for this claim? Okay, so the right evidence says in the universe of the 1AC, Western nations have built a computer. Oh, okay, so the 1AC operates in a different universe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, hold whoa. up, we'll take a bit of prep to continue this cross X actually. Could, could you explain what you mean by in the universe of the 1AC? Well, we think there are infinite universes and the desire to control one universe if you stand up and say in the 1AC is bad. Because we don't think there's one universe and saying that the okay. one operates on a quote unquote different universe is problematic. Okay, so your app operates in one of the universes where Africa is in a computer simulation. Yes. Okay, cool. And cross X, we're at 936. Uh, the 1AC is intent. I added the people in the Zoom chat that wanted to be added to the chain, I think. I got it. What's the order? Uh, seven case. Hold on a second, I'm still downloading it.
I still got a setup too. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Are we good? Anyone not good? Cool. First off, this essentially means real matter imaginary woman 93. The court defense is essentially meaning true lawyer or likely to materialize time as being used imaginary violation in Google definition of fiction literature in the form of prose, especially short stories and novels that describe imaginary events and people. Vote night for predictable limits. There are infinite potential fictional depictions of the world. The negative can never meaningfully prepare for, which turns to be into a monologue. Next off, General Toro is beating General Xi. Now the plan flips it. Maldivar 18. Trump boosts export prospects by streamlining view credit cards. This is a great power competition with China. China will so avoid U.S. lots of wisdom. for allied consequence plus this market share. Not easily recapturing the opportunity to maintain military relationship with foreign assets. So General Xi's an aggressive exchange has power increased to influence correctly. Translates to an increased risk of nuclear war. 2017. China wants to create a global system, not U.S. centric, in which the markets do not have a real choice in this world. But which China is finding attractive would engender state security and conflict. So many years ago, we lost and generate conflict. Japan, right, 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 India, and China would compete vigorously. Russia and China would conquer the resources. It would start up great power competition. China would challenge the U.S. in a great example that happens when America would power retreats. Europe produce the greatest refugee crisis since allies are in their fourth multiplier. Such an issue would lead to wars that are intended by aggressive states that would start regional domination. Even though General Toro certainly has issues, General Xi is way worse, and ensures a far worse defeat for General Major Chen Tell. The overwhelming statistical evidence tip in 14, 20 through 14, Africa, the new form of colonialism combining government action with Corporate interest, like up the rights of billions of dollars in commodities, that's a little to help develop their economies worth a tiny fraction of the total value. Because the lack of sustainability creates dependence on China's energy for many future manufacturing, undertaken with little environmental sustainability, have lost a negative impact by contrast. The US is more military approach motivated by desire to help build the capacity to not have any stake in oil production. Well, not perfect system, oil investment creates far less success, excessive imbalances, benefit for Africa over the long term. Next off, the app story is long. General Toro is working closely with General Major Gentle now, but arm sales are key. The plan flips it, send it all. 14 to renew security. China is a more important chapter of collaborative security. The African leaders want to train how American efforts up with their challenges both for fellow new U.S. African security agenda creating uh, cementing new partnership security threats once you dealt with for economies and societies society, society, US will be the capacity of local partners with all complex U.S. remains a trusted broker in Africa many years later six hundred touch security issues that cooperation is the linchpin of deep engagement tells proliferation cascades and repression of threats that escalate like birth at all twelve by security field for proliferation cascade generation to generate pressure locally for more proliferation destabilizing and extension new nuclear problem that has variable forces sensitive unforeseen crisis dynamics been out of control the reassure reassurance to lower security competition every key regime stitcher and three by potential warfare key deep engagement reduces security cooperation and just uh, and slows the future of power away from the U.S. such as global economy and fostering institutional cooperation. Significant, specifically, the cooperation entails power pro Africa initiatives significantly mitigate fire energy poverty. Short sure, hardware hardware fifteen power Africa works to deliver electricity. We can only accomplish this goal through partnerships. As opposed to the twenty fifteen delay development agenda, emerges into the purchase of a crucial by partnering to leverage resources. Power Africa is unlike the key driver of development. Power Africa's progression to unify mission leveraging resources around the world solves mass deaths from climate change, environmental destruction, and poverty. Gonzalez fifteen energy poverty most significant contributor to climate change importation. It makes greenhouse gases addressing energy poverty was represents represent the win-win of winning environment so tipping quest to central cost of energy, renewable energy systems provide electrical power without fossil fuels. Strong economic relations with the US are critical to African space development. Merlo 16 in Africa, two minute main on space has been emphasized by nurturing space ambitions. Countries expect positive results in ag and environmental protection, disaster mitigation, monitoring outbreak, space techniques, the SSA achieve more independence from the developed countries that uh, it's unlikely Africa can sustain those ambitions without harm research. So uh, Africa must be cooperative powers and willing to support the uh, other factors overlapping between the uh, game in Africa among global powers and their race of cooperation with countries investing in space. The region is field of conflict between U.S. and China and space offers of competition. The African hunger for industrial skills. The uh, African countries uh, cooperate with experts that are opposed to Nigerian satellites have been launched by Chinese space targets. Where South African space weapons are referenced with NASA that liberates African nations from Western space imperialism. One guy, 16 Africa's lack of competitive interest results in marginalization in space affairs. That space, space move Africa from consumer to global player. Africa's governments can have a single program should be launched on their land and negotiate on the returns of in-state producers and central interest rates. Rival space power to be an infestation of the infirmary. Why African countries are establishing their independence of space agencies to uh, space control. 
from the festival of her wonders have ever got some t-shirts they have nothing left to watch from her face will go the same way as oil and cast for these powerful social research leading to chaos will liberate uh, space will liberate uh, technological domination next off the supreme court of the united states also ruled that direct commercial sales and foreign military sales of arms to the countries of africa are unconstitutional will change the counterplan text also and sets a precedent against exact flex zoom in 610 the war power solution prohibits president from using his power to use commander in chief to engage in unilateral war making white spring contract not sub intervention by traditional legislative means alone because the president can be able to come in the war power to shift to authority away from congress to itself during the heat continue rather than like what's the stop it unless congress gets a permanent consent of laws to get over health or death imbalance congress have a strong base for standing in court from guessing sure we are ordering a halt to an authority to its military assistance precedent of unrevealed like psychos global makes preventative complex and noble flown eight white ghost presidents who said to establish precedent said strongly includes other states many states can move which is sort of the work to prevent our forces including our career around china israel russia and taiwan these states included included use of catastrophic weapons that prevent for executive parts so many diplomatic obstacles understanding the intricacies of politics the state and the military is a better and more efficacient form of storytelling brian so we need to hand the question to military logistics what i've heard in discussions completely different to the military logistics people with their hands and see this horrible and the state and so it doesn't go very far to changing the critique is where the most rich people need to hear you drop the family to block the ideological reason to persuade the opposing forces soldiers forgetting that there are soldiers behind it with guns right back in the family to be the face of part of changing the social order is necessary the both uh, intervening in material that was the hardest thing required to activate to do something where the country we need to be good best so we can both very bridges for lens and communication networks next off the text of the resolution call uh, for debate on hypothetical government action proving that usfg should not reduce fms and dcs needs to be a sufficient condition for voting negative ericsson three each topic contains a key element a uh, certain key element and nation to the action the United States of Richard urges action to put a policy into action through government told me to use her debate as well whether something ought to occur reasons to vote app other than the consequences of the one ACR voter and taking it doesn't solve it justifies infinite moral statements which are incontestable and unpredictable two impacts first is class of only mechanism for anything in the debate benefits of debate any ups analysis makes debaters better and smarter at the margin to internal and turns all their offense second is fairness the integrity of the game is a precondition for voting and we fall implicitly agree fairness is good by abiding by other norms not voting for fairness causes the elevated judge by future words but if you don't think fairness is an impact automatically vote next if you think they're winning the debate next off will advocate for the entire of the awarding team minus their critique of technology if they're right the form filters conscientious proof that it competes and it's legit tech bad claims are suspect because our brains are wired for technical pessimism digital synchronity uh, uh, can fix racism embedded in cybernetics and human ingenuity make the world materially better reinhardt 18 many are pessimistic about tech but life is getting better property continues not just people are living longer the digital revolutions results in informational abundance hope of incorrect asymmetry idea asymmetries that place humankind psychologists of our brain are wired for pessimism there's a lot of space but they're facing the matter in our tech systems the best way to handle the issues is human ingenuity starbucks uh mark the card at startup kate the books were written in the 80s for a reason. Sci-fi demands for their potential is obsolete. Kamar Chen, there have been other reasons why sci-fi appears to be incapable of setting a social or political agenda. Radical government, every fair representation of audiences no longer have a common sense. National constitution, in particular, groups other ecologically minded persons, uh, fans of the science fiction form of societies and consume the uh, fanciness that we act and consume within our own cultural enclaves. The competing rights claims lack only ethical option is to minimize unnecessary death screen. Ten, science is telling some moral judgment is not rational and system like they are taking coherent moral theory that can accommodate moral institutions that define the ontology in terms that are done as Dante and the logical consequentialists that are treating people as Subjects by getting every person's well being. If you ask for the ontological person, just pearl of art and push someone to save five others, the answer to what we tell logical others will be more sophisticated, but the answers don't explain anything. There seems to be something to right because if you voice powerful emotions, they don't explain the philosophy in question. Simulation as a argument is a metaphor, it's not literal. Anyways, there's no implication or warrant to this argument. No internal link to the major gentle winds. Removing arms sales does allow Africa to usurp and defeat the doesn't allow the Africa to usurp and defeat the US. All causes like nuclear primacy, military presence, economic leverage, and et cetera, outweigh and the dissatisfaction and solvency for them because our internal link is premised off US influence and alliance structures being important to Make Germany beneficial, but the unique claim doesn't undermine U.S. hard power vis-a-vis -vis Africa. Human is actually. I'm going to skip that for now. Interventions are good for, for, for widely replicated statistical analysis over headlines. They cherry pick curves 14, although some of them always over a record, significantly reduced chances of societies living back into violence. Funding has been replicated, modified, and reconfirmed in many ways. It is widely said among scholars. The statistical relationship has been very strong. One of the may seem counterintuitive and lingering images, but you consider how many countries navigated the war to so peace transition, including a Salvador network of what would be the maybe Mozambique, Sierra Leone, Cambodia, Eastern, or Bosnia, and Kosovo. These have fallen in public view because they are no longer at war. The threat of freedom finance are some more effective headlines, but would never tell you that only statistical study. What opposition to Africom is based on an ideological blanket statement that ultimately reinforces colonialism. One or eleven critics claim the creation of Ackermans and neocolonial enforcement is nearly all of Africa's states upon the coast of Maine. The U.S. did not look at any other continent. A bottom of Africa's states agency part of Africa oversight was parceled by months. These commands by uh, three commands by extracting Africa. The DOD is affording the continent respect. Mark the card affording the continent respect. Uh, I'm good to go whenever you all are. The second this said you read the first piece of evidence that says General Toro's winning now, and then the first line in the evidence says Trump. 
Can you reconcile the difference for me? It's an analogy this similar to the one that you all used in the 1AC. How? How is it similar to the one we use? Well, we told a story too. Uh, we think that the okay, how is the story that you told responsive to the story we told? Well, because in the status quo, we can see that Trump is exporting weapons. And given our limited information about your simulation, but given the policies you've described that General Toro took being similar to ones with the US, we could assume that the trajectory of their actions in foreign policy are similar. And if you read evidence that differentiates the two and why the US is seeking a different broad foreign policy goal, then we can you know, answer those. Okay, the both T violations, what is the- we'll Also make arguments about why we should like care about this. Okay. Both T violations, what is the prescribed definition of what constitutes reality? Uh, we just think that literally imaginary is in the definition of science fiction. I don't know if there's a static definition of reality. Um, if you're going to talk about like parallel universes and such, but we think that imaginary is not real and thus science fiction is not real. Our point in the so, first one, I guess, so the second violation isn't about imaginary. Oh, no, it's not. I get that imagination is not reality, but if the yeah. one you see imagines a reality, what's the distinction between the actual well, reality? Well, that arguing reality. is that the reality you have to imagine should be one that the only change from the our best depiction of the current reality to what? the new imagined reality in the world what? of the planet is what? reducing the level of arms sales. What's our best depiction of the current reality? So, so like based on perception and empirics, we can make educated guesses about what the likely state of reality is. So, I mean, obviously like we have some epic systemic doubt about whether we can know everything, but you know, like you drop a pen enough times, figure out it's probably gonna drop the next time, figure out that in our reality, gravity is probably a thing. You know, you can't be sure, but you can assign a high probabilistic yeah, assessment. What if an individual operates in multiple realities? Um, the reality that's shared through experience uh, and the rules we assign, like Jeremy was describing, is probably the I'm best. I'm supposed to know what reality you would like. Well, I mean, that, that's our point. Like, I'm not sure which multiple realities argument you're discussing or which weren't, in which case I can better answer it. But given the, the best reality to use as a guide for making future decisions is the one that we've experienced right. and have empirics to discuss, because that's the only one that we could actually know anything it's about. It's the equivalent of us saying, you know, my favorite reality is one where the judge always votes for Whitney Young M.M. <laughs> That reality, I yeah, that one's good too. Defend, but that doesn't make it a good idea for everybody else. Okay, I understand that. That may be true in one reality, but... Well, but like, I mean, like, it's going to be hard for us to come up with exact warrants until you describe the warrants for why you think there's that alternate reality, why alternate realities even exist in the first place, and then we can respond reciprocally. Right now, our justification for why we should care about this one is just that reality is determined by empirics well, they need and perception. No, I'm sending it now. Okay, uh, the order is the advantage, framing, T subs, uh, T USFG, the tech pick, the SCOTUS counter plan, the science good disad, the African alliance disad, and then the she disad. Give me one sec, I'm just uh, downloading the 2SC. Repeat the order one more time after the T violations. Uh, which T violation? Uh, just after both of them. Uh, okay. The SCOTUS courts counter plan. Actually, no, before the SCOTUS counter plan, the tech pick, then the SCOTUS counter plan. 
then the African alliances, then the science good disad, then the African alliances disad, and then the she disad. Okay, I'm good. Hey, okay. slight overview at the top. Hey, everyone good? Yeah, I'm good. Everything in debate is storytelling, yet the only role the judge is to orient away from discursive forms of scenario claim, depicting Afghan narration as uncivilized and utopian. Two net benefits. Sources, Gentile exploitation. They can see uniqueness that the Western world lives in computer simulations. Maybe general major Gentiles to fight the terrible toil of the occupied wars in the real world and the Western exploitation, condemning millions of Afghans of famine and poverty. And they are just to prevent toil from using WMDs and leveraging unjust control over regions. Second is narration. Desire to control one real world where the West one forces black stories into your centric views, sapping spiritual energy to survive. It's all revolution potential is lost. Changing modes of storytelling changes neurologically how people define the human, creating heuristic device that subverts hegemonic discourse and mobilizes true political change through affective flow. They say science fiction center playing bad. However, yeah, the Burkett evidence is fantastic in answering this. It says that the upgrades affective energy to engage in political mo movements by giving black, which is a prerequisite to black people, engaging in political movements. They say they say simulation is a metaphor. Simulation it, it is not. Rather, in the abstract reality, the Western world literally lives lives in a simulation. Now they say a major general, major general. When they say general major. Gentle doesn't win. However, moving arm sales specifically is key to allow him to win since terrible Toro specifically uses WMD to leverage, uh, uh, leverage against uh, Major General Gentle now in order to prevent him from fighting back. They say humanism, the humanism that stuff. We are a broad rejection of humanism. Rather, we say creating new forms of what it means to be human within within dominant modes uh, within academia is good. They say interventions are good. Interventions don't happen since the U.S. Army has been dismantled. Once they, when, once they start living in simulation, the AFCOM good stuff is irrelevant since Africa has has been disbanded what disbanded once say what is it simulations framing consequentialism is wrong prefer in tempest action versus tree hum, humanism hate tree humanity as it ended itself there has to be intrinsic definitions of will there a priori principles slavery was bad because of inherent wrongs not con, not consequences you wouldn't tell mlk not to give speeches given the possibility of pay a lash out second is it's possible to quantify intrinsic pleasure or pain of the agent in relation to one another weight doesn't verify anything that just assumes you already know how pain and pleasure each party receives just by slavery there's no metric of weight between mass responder and slave pain and atrocity such as large group enslaving small ones. T substantial. First, a, a counter, counter, uh, first answer a spec counter interpretation. We specify as far as the resolution that's best to prevent agent counterpoints which steal Africa. We, the African sales, make up 10.7% of total uh, African. We are a form of imagination. Rather, we reduce our sales in the real world and counter interpretations of tensions. 14 billion preferred to be legal precision. CCMA2 is subject production of 14 billion FMS. And that aligns with congressional notification requirements. As AT forms a national DCSA and notifies Congress have made their arms sales under FMS notification service for public. Announcements to understand the and arms transfer for free. After a sub point is pretty fully only arm trip gives a direct list of prep by Googling the newest sales and government website. C sub point is limits. We end up with a good list of sold apps without arbitrary combos of groups. Third is reasonably competing in terms and sacrifices race the bottom and cause of substance credit of T USFG zero violation. The app reduces arms sales through DCS and FMS governmental means. Nothing in their interim definition specify the universe's apps must be and proves a link to their offense since teens inevitably raise some origins independently. There is no bright line between traditional fiat fantasy and our sci-fi regular apps imagine Trump would sign arms reduction and comply with their enforcement even though in real life people wouldn't plan text in a vacuum the plan should be the only basis for design topicality and think else allows next to facilitate infinite procedurals which detracts some substance we're not even close to extra topical there's no binary between rhetoric and policy suffering discursive and non-discursive practices is impossible because the discourse of the one you see influences its hypothetical implementation rep shape policy outcomes and ignoring them would prevent finding the best solution there are infinite worlds this one is not responsible that's five and fourteen there are very infinite worlds every time a quantum experiments for four all efforts are obtained each of the different world quantum experiments take this everywhere. The looking for both this quantum experiment counter trip should be to analyze a binary opposition between minority and hegemonic worldviews. There, it obscures how narration is divided racially. The sum of working racial identities that keep the voter as square tail activity raised made this whole racial issue of the ship has a lot of survival. A lot of us is a method of catching generating through the binary opposition. They and us were biased on the head of the market. Should there's a 
white narratives. It said, what constitutes a real world? Hegemonic worldview is gaining legitimacy through whiteness projecting itself onto the future, crying out traditional African stories as unpragmatic and utopian, denying black people cultures are survival. These uh, stories are co-neurologically into people, definitions of human reality as one controlled by whiteness. There's a historicity that's that forcing the form of black arguments to conform to linear historicity, where the West one assumes control of the history of African politics and literature condemns black people to a history of trauma, which they can't psychologically handle. No limits is that it's a point there are infinite universes now. They made an active choice to set up my black ones. Basic points interpreting different realities doesn't expose limits as all production arms sales would still be tied to country apps existing now. At D sub points in Apple, teams like GB and Greenhall have raised the margins, breaking tiny two ass beats. It's only a question of functional limits. So the ground stuff, one no link. This argument is just like us reading a major general, gentle 2020 politics. This is the Apple would say it doesn't exist. Second, it provides better ground because you get infinite design critiques of the next discourse. The tech fit. Permutation to both permutation to the camp plan. Literally no offense. We don't critique technology in the abstract, but just make a descriptive claim about Western nations living in a simulation. We are saying tech is bad, just that Western nations are using technology in violent ways by trying to delete Africa from the white archive, the courts kind of plan. No black individuals attempting to manipulate African stories with alternative advocacies as a voter steals black bigger spiritual hope for the balanced currency, which has resolved upon self hatred for black individuals. Aging campaigns are a voting issue, steals Afghan and whose ability to make salty deficits, subverting clash. Condo is bad. Times two situation prevents us from breeding add ons and offense that kind of plans. They can just kick it. Permutation to both. Permutation to the camp plan. Inter is sexual and functional. The camp plan doesn't feed off the mandate of the plan. Key to fairness, they cycle salty deficits. Three is no precedent is set. Sort of semantic executive uncertainty doesn't matter. Is everyone who can perceive it is living in a computer simulation? Now it doesn't live in the real world. Four is supposed to four powers resolution. Congress sends a message that there are limitations to press powers now. The science, the science good to say. One is no link. We aren't a rejection of scientific processes. Rather, we aren't sci-fi. We're juju tech, which is a combination of futurism and traditional African tradition. Second is no spillover to broader extinction effects. It's about discourse in this round. Plus, plus, plus science doesn't matter in the real world since everyone lives in simulations out of the African alliances to say. Even if they win, nukes exist. Nuclear war is good. It ends the Yakimoto war. Western powers already tested their nukes in Akimoto, so an escalating nuclear war would not target Africa. Instead, it would destroy Western civilization, preventing further exploitation of Africa. There's no nuclear war. Versus nuclear weapons don't exist in the world in the absence of or dismantled once Western countries start living in computer simulations. Second is counterforcing advanced missile defense systems surrounding computers. Running simulations will be deployed to track and destroy nukes in the event that they are launched. Four versus no link. No alliances exist in the real world since most countries live in computer simulations. Countries don't care about break. break of assurances that occur in Africa. Second is reject the theme. Their discourse to support a hegemonic institution reifies and flex structures. That's for three years. Seven record law ballot. AKC six said it's a global racial formation percent. Regimes are deeply institutionalized the biopolitical political structure of white racial naturalists within the larger scale. America and jumping binds itself will perplex and accelerate the experience of society of formation of violence. That's self perpetuate is peculiar social pressures within the spiritual structure of warfare. Three is mutual interests matter more. That's Henry 17 allies are not looking for virtuous more conduct. They are right, look for uh, evidence that America's interests remain converging with their own. All that, but different issues by allies will have different interests. Start different inferences from direct behavior. Force all causes thumb, US credibility on French 19, Japan, US alliance springs are simply mapping of a here at Grand Marcus China or uh, make a deal with uh, North Korea, US South Korea alliance is forces to go to its whole different American true present market, true present, the she just said. One no link. China lives in China and she live in computer simulations where they are where there aren't geopolitical tensions between Western nations. The government has no incentive to expand influence broadly since Toro was defeated. Close plan. Second is Russian and Chinese influence in Africa and Africa, even with US arms sales, military base and economic deals. It's first like the Beijing Moscow suddenly increase our economic ties between four African nations China developed for Russia for nuclear and tech partnership. Both nations have increased their cultural influence. Russia and China or just strong military ties through arms sales, security improvements, military training, Central African Republic, Al Korea, Libya, Sudan, Russia's functioning, military aid, China's efforts on both fronts, including arms sales, local Support with every time in places African partners purchase Chinese equipment. China is actually working to open new bases. Third is no turns case argument. It's not that arms in of itself are colonials, but the U.S. is used of arms within Africa spur gentle colonialism. Improved by the U.S. conditioning arms and mining rights in Africa. Four is turn saying China's colonialist is a bad frame because it results in affected displacement where the U.S. maintains their sales and says we are pushing out China. Five. Sorry. Hold up. We'll actually take one second of prep first. Okay. Cool, good for cross. 
Okay, I just realized I asked a whole ass string of questions and was muted. So let's start over. Uh, okay. The T debate, infinite universes. If the neg wins that we imagine something better, do we win? No. Uh, no, you have to prove that the ass implementation within the universe that we have described is a bad idea. Why? Why can't we win like a permutation debate like that? What do you mean by like, What do you mean? Like, um, imagining your world trades off with our world, our world is better. Why can't that be a negative ballot? Because if you say your world is better, it doesn't dispute anything because multiple worlds can coexist. Okay, so you're just going to say no trade off. Uh, this part of the science fiction story WD, uh, WMDs are leveraged against, uh, against the African nations. Uh, you know, which sales are WMDs? Uh, so we have isolated that the USFG sells WMDs to General Toro in Africa. In the status quo, we can read specific F on what those WMD sales are, but the WMDs are then used by General Toro to threaten mass destruction to General okay. Major Gentle, okay. who is fighting against him in the school. Okay, sure. So analogy going out the window at this point. Uh, the interventions argument, you know, how does the U.S. or I guess General Tar just leave everything and drop? Do we just imagine that he leaves? No, oh, because no. Uh, so we, we've made a so unique so disclaim so about how. So if we made we need arms, how do we make sure that there's no other way to support General Taro? Okay, so we've made a unique disclaim about how WMDs are the only thing that are holding back General Major Gentle in the squo from combating General Toro. He's afraid to do so in the squo because his massive army would be annihilated by nuclear weapons if, you know, General Toro decided to use his WMDs. Okay. Cutting off those WMDs would prevent uh, that. What does physics look like in the world of the, uh, the imaginary of the AF? I mean, it would take me a lot of time to explain to you every single law it's, of physics. It's in the entirely world. different. How, how can you communicate it? Well, I mean, maybe it isn't entirely different, but it would take me such a long time to explain to you the intricacies. Of okay, so you've imagined a whole different world with, you know, new rules of physics. Where is that in the resolution? When did we say well, that? We didn't say the resolution it. doesn't yeah, specify what right. laws of physics we need to follow. Well, you did imagine it, and you are garnering offense on other parts, maybe yeah, external laws of physics. physics. But yeah. I do think it's important to be able to determine whether or not the resolution calls for a change in the laws of physics. We don't. Okay. Here's an important distinction: we don't change the laws of physics. We operate under a law of physics inside a universe. Well, and only in the sense that AFs change arms policy and imagine a world in which it's changed. But either way. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, imagining a policy affirmative is imaginary as well, but I don't understand where you're getting the parts that you're imagining from the resolution. Hey, no prep, I'm good. That's just one card. What's the order? All right. Uh, let me know when people are good for an order. Good. I'm good. OK. Yeah. It's going to be extra T. Then it's going to be the allies DA. Then it's going to be framing. Then it's going to be the advantage. Is anyone not ready? Awesome. 
Topicality, providing reason to vote affirmative other than desirability. United States voting on reducing FMS and or DCS from the U.S. has to be a region to reject the team, letting them shift what they were painfully obvious about in the 1AC and due to the moral hazard for teams to write extra topical advantage and mechanisms. He will shift the terms as extra topical as possible as debate goes on. They force the night to win T just to have a substantive debate in the first place, but the time investment required to win topicality precludes doing that. They do meet first the F centers the debate not on the consequences of U.S. reducing arms, but instead on their intentions and the mechanism by which they describe arms sales to snap around. This here's a quote from the dis it's about the discourse in the round and also from all their 1AC framing contentions where they say that form shapes content and it's about their intentions for determining whether it's a good idea. Our uh, evidence in the one, one and C says that it's critical in order to determine the consequences, which is what the intent of the resolution is. Plus, even if we don't win that it's the intention of the resolution, we can still win that our model of debate is better because at best there's zero predictability differential between our interpretations. Second is the simulation violation argument. Uh, we'll win all of our empirics claims about why this simulation is the real one or this world is the real one. That necessarily means that the app is extra topical from a simulation perspective in the context that we have the empirical existence now, the AF is only topically allowed to shift to an imaginary world in which the only distinction between our world and the imaginary one is a reduction in arms, but the AF gets to fiat an entirely new simulation, not one of the many ones, but one in which they arbitrarily conduct and can uh, shift the flows, i.e. they could create a simulation that's just like, here is a world where arms are axiomatically bad, and then it creates terrible debates where the affirmative wins every time. Two impacts. First is fairness. Even if debate can be more than game, it fundamentally relies on competition of function, proven by speech time, spreading the fact that they want the ballot, and when the two are stands up and talks about how he drops that framework is equal to the war on terror only the impact that uh, when parents decline the activity becomes less valuable for everyone leads to decision based on judge biases which is worse it's the only impact the ballot can solve and if you disagree that fairness is an important norm then just vote neck even if they win on the flow second is clash individual debates don't shape subjectivity the judge voting app won't magically change anyone's mind and a plethora of external factors also shape our viewpoint family school friends reading etc the one only mechanism through which debate can change how people think is through in-depth clash at the margins that results in debaters being more knowledgeable more self-reflexive more able to craft better strategies to accomplish those goals solve their offense and on a broader scale because their offense is about intrinsic a dogmatic belief in their AF and ideology, whereas our offense is about being able to, to better discern the truth across a wide range of issues. It also broadly turns their offense because the reason they think storytelling is good, uh, they, they believe storytelling is good, but they can use storytelling scenario planning to tell the one I see, but instead determine the winner based on the consequence of the hypothetical implementation within the real world instead of focus, instead focusing the debate on storytelling good, bad, diverse to endless trash meta debates about debate that foreclose developing substance view on the relative efficacy of different stories, which turns the reason they think it's good because it results in better material outcomes for black people. Filter all their offense through two frame issues. First is competition clean. Key. This was really bad in 1AC process. All the reasons why it's important for us to disagree with their simulation. The app has lots of cards that say us talking about and simulating this thing is good, but they have zero reasons why debating within those simulations are good, which we've won at the top is axiomatically impossible, which proves that they turn debate into a monologue and it proves that the forum isn't key and the ballot isn't key. Second is the TBA. Their app is an easy one. They could read their app, do science fiction storytelling, uh, but just do it in this universe, make an analogy between the two, talk about why the story uh, says something about the stuff in this universe. And if they're correct about their broad off about why scenario planning is good in a way to help black people cope with the real world, then it should those advantages should make sense. They just uh, then don't read an advantage about why storytelling is good and then say they should win because their storytelling is good. The counter interpretation is infinitely regressive, allows apps to garner offense based on moral truism or extra topically fiat mindset shifts that are unpredictable and obviate relevant uh, political cost that apply and makes prep impossible, framing through moral hazard. Even if the app seems reasonable, their interpretation justifies after reduce the sale of one weapon and read a rep advantage about civil forfeiture regulations. App that read rep advantage to solve all dishes, past USMCA, invest in the DIB, help Russia decide they shouldn't fill in, have Japan and decide not to proliferate, establish an NFU, infinite backfile checks that it could never meaningfully prepare for, fiatting massive movement or Congress traverses the Lakani and death right, overcome the fear of death, or just become really nice people that sing Kuwaya, or read any interpersonal argument, this app makes me feel good, my poetry is good, storytelling is good, etc., and can center debate based on intentions, which are subjective, non-falsifiable, etc., in order for us to win, I'd need to win that Matthew is a bad person who wants bad things to occur. These destroy fairness and clash. Two internal links. First, it's predictability. Unpredictably shifting the terms of debate nullifies the benefit of in-depth preparation, force the negative debate the app on terms that make third and fourth level testing impossible. Second is Utopianism, every reasonable criticism of utopian proposals like end all arms sales are based on existing in an imperfect world where the actions have large political costs domestically and to our adversaries, allowing the app to bypass these concerns, crushes in that policy analysis, force the neg to run to absurd extremes. They say that fiat is sci fi, we'll concede this. This means we solve your offense about sci fi. The distinction between the two is our form of sci fi is better and helps us learn more about the real world and come up with better uh, coping strategies while preserving a world for the negative, whereas their sci fi detaches so far from the real world, there's no educational value and it could, uh, leaves the neg without a meaningful role in the debate. They say that procedurals are bad, that beg the question of models. So 
there's substance credit if we win that they're uh, missing on the uniqueness question because substance can't occur in their debate and uh, pr uh, competitive incentives cause a shift. They say there's no binary between discourse and policy. This is an intentional misinterpretation of terms. Just because discourse can have broad effects on society doesn't mean that when we're talking about policies and debate, the way that Matthew described the 118 necessarily needs to affect whether reducing arms sales is a good policy. There's also, even if they're right, that form shapes content broadly, there's not debate key or reasons why we should discuss the form and the content of uh, how Matthew gave the 118. Content exclusions are also inevitable and good. We can't talk about everything. And if we attempt to, we'll never really learn anything in depth, which is why uh, it's, uh, it's good to limit the topic to some degree. And science fiction is bad. That's on case. Our education is inevitable. That's right. No, 77, 59% uh, of 7th and 12th grade instructors do not some for science fiction in the classroom instruction popular in numerous science fiction movies and television shows. Uh, imagination of a science fiction within general public have been stimulated by science fiction, uh, television novels. The Next argument is the infinite worlds. This is wrong. It's about the like, quantum theory. This is heavily disputed among scientists. We don't have that, but theirs isn't particularly qualified either. Second, it's a misinterpretation. Their argument, the quantum many worlds theory, isn't that like there are infinite universes and you can just imagine whichever one you want and that is the universe. It's just rather that uh, during a bunch of particle interactions, things can minorly change based on probability function, which doesn't lead to their simulation, which is still extra topical. Third is that analyzing the past ones and different simulations that could have branched off is a waste of time because our current empirical system can't be one of those. The counter interpretation should is just a bastardization of card is the fighting should in the sense is they should pass a law to sterilize us. We agree that should in the abstract could refer to discussing minority issues, but it's not in the context of revolution, except for in the context of the TVA, which is a viable version of it, which proves that our interpretations are compatible, but uh, ours includes less. The neurological shift argument is fake. There's no evidence or studies or warrants within their evidence. You should be highly skeptical of any card in debate that says the word neurology and that doesn't use any evidence for it. We also solved this. There's no specific internal link to T, and we've won that with all the no trade-off arguments above. They say they have to comport with linear historicity. That's inevitable from the real world because you live and have to deal with history but the the world being bad is a reason to change it and deal with it earlier the no there's also no trade-off because you can imagine uh science fiction and still go and live through the real world they say limits explosion inevitable concede t subs and that that solved that ground which mitigates those process counter uh, apps can be limited out via t proves it's a good norm uh yeah I'll answer the wipeout stuff. They say that nuclear war won't hit Africa first. It would end civilization even if it doesn't hit Africa because of nuclear winter, which causes famines and spreads worldwide. Second, it would take out the simulation if the Western's running it. So then everyone in there would die. The counterforcing of BMD doesn't matter because one, BMD is too ineffective to intercept enough nukes. And second, it would still cause nuclear winter when, uh, the, the, from the country that decides to counterforce. The no alliances also begs the question of the simulation. Plus, uh, given that they can arbitrarily shift uh, what the course of the simulation is. Uh, Kate, framing. The consequences bad argument is a tautology because the impacts to why consequences are bad is that it results in bad consequences, i.e. more racism, less uh, outcomes for bad people. They say you can't quantify it. That's uh, wrong. It's a comparative. Even if I can't say there's like three violence globally, I can still compare different forms of violence in order to make a consequentialist decision and good action. They say justify slavery. This is exactly backwards. The road to evil is paved with good intentions. All the people who justified slavery had good intentions, but consequences because of how bad slavery are would obviously reject it. The, uh, and their evidence agrees with us. The case itself. Science fiction fails because it ropes into enclaves. It can't be broadly restored to change anything. There's no evidentiary basis for their simulation. It's warrantless and they're a bad way to make decisions, which was primarily on topicality. They also can't solve because uh, the US has nukes inevitably and a bunch of other uh, historical events against Africa. There's no reason the arms scale is key to the solvency and the simulation argument is not supported by any of their evidence. It's just an assertion for them. And yeah, whatever. I can't get to the other side. Fine. Bill and turns case. Follow me. I'm good for us. Good. The T stuff. How is it possible to verify the existence of one world absence reliance on intuitions? Well, you rely on empirics. So here's the big framing issue, right? Philosophy is impossible to determine. We can't trust anything we see, yada, yada, all those things. Any interpretation of how the world works is inherently tautological and non-falsifiable. You're correct about that. But empirics is the best way to associate with the world, which is proven by all the 1AC claims where you say black suffering is bad, like psychic violence is bad, et cetera, because it proves that the only way that we can know those things exist or figure out that those things exist and are bad is by analyzing empirics. And there was also the probabilistic argument I made in the one I see, which is that we can't know for sure it's true. But like, if I drop a pen 10 times, it drops each time. I can guess it's likely to do that in the future. Yeah, what's up? What constitutes empirical factors? Well, right, just like things we have perceived in the fact and using those to scale up and make intuitions about how the world works. Okay, how do you know that everyone perceives this world that you have described? I mean, we don't, but we can approximate that it's roughly similar based on discussing with other people and making approximations. I mean, Again, all these arguments you're making are tautological because you presume 
like when you made all those arguments about why sci-fi is good and all the framing preempts, you were like, black suffering is a thing that broadly exists. These is supported by a historical legacy of racism, all of which are empirical claims that presume that people have, you know, like similar perceptions of how the world works. It would take for the one EC to use history to prove that it is true. Wait, what do you say? Sorry. What would it take for the one EC to use history to prove that it is true? To, to prove that, uh, like that there's the general guy and that all the alliances are dead and there's a simulation or what? How do we prove that? Like, 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 I'm not sure to prove that the like consequences of the one I see are true or what? To prove that like general major gentle exists or general Tory exists, what would we have to do to you? Well, I mean, you could like look in the past and see like, you know, there was this guy who called himself general major gentle and you know, so he supposedly. Okay, can there be a world where something exists and simultaneously a world where that something does not exist? Well, it, it is possible, in fact, to have two different worlds, one in which something exists and one in which something doesn't exist. Okay, so then how do we link to any of your options about saying certain things don't exist? Well, well, right, our whole point is that you can hypothetically imagine another world where these things don't exist, but it's not the world we're in. And we should make decisions according to the world that we are most likely in. In fact, the one you see operates under a different world. Huh? What do you say? Where have you read evidence that all humans operate on the same consensus or a well, well, you made a bunch of arguments on the dissad that's like, ha ha, not in our simulation. Here, China doesn't exist and doesn't want power. Ha ha ha. Okay. Like, there's, what like, all of these arguments are self-serving and arbitrary interpretations of which I mean, world like, we... I'm just asking what's the violation to the text of the one he sees in, one he sees interpretation. The, the violation of the text of our interpretation? Yeah. Our interpretation is that the only distinction between this inter like uh, empirical reality and the one AC's hypothetical reality can be less arm sales. Okay. That, that can be the only difference. And then also that the like ballot needs to go to the team who best demonstrates the relative consequences of the action. So that's what should means is the other portion of the violation. Those are the two. Uh, the one in our was sent. I'll give the order in a sec. Can everyone hear me okay? Okay, the order is gonna be the science pick, the courts counterplan, the alliance dissed, and the China fill in dissed. Is anyone not good? Uh, hold on a second, I'm downloading it. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Sweet. Tag pick concede the perm just to test competition. No offense on the floor. The court's counter plan will concede permutation. It was just a test to competition. Conditionality counter trip. We get what we did. Counter trip uh, dispo. They didn't ask logic. You shouldn't vote after the status quo is better. Next flex. We need some space to make up for Ned's uh, app side bias. Personal speech. Expertise bias. Fake plans. Tweets. Reframing. And new apps. Innovation without fallback teams will never break new arts or experiment with policy and critical arguments. Still incentives to do research because it makes the counter plan better. And excuse inevitable speed. T just says they need to win. We make debate impossible. Non resolution. Actually, skip that. But uh, T proceeds substance. They started it. All the other reasons are reasons for reject the argument. Not the team, the allies just said all the tricks were answered on top. So I'll start the impact level. Deep engagement solves global power wars. The, uh, provides the economic support and regional presence to uh, uphold deterrence and reassurances. Regional allied against the need to proliferate, which goes nuclear through action, can use or lose it pressures. Even if it doesn't always get to a full nuclear war, it's still a massive drawn out war that causes lots of minority deaths. They also drop two external impacts. Which are warming causes mass deaths through the edits to the uh, to the clean energy uh, cooperation with Africa, which allows better access to uh, material uh, to material uh, to material uh, energy.
energy for those people and space colonization, which allows Africa to get on board the space train and uh, release themselves from their dependence on other nations, such as uh, the U.S., Russia, and China. The hegemonic discourse argument, one, is the card says absolutely nothing. You can read through it. It just says that some discourse is violent, but not ours, too. I'll answer the tag with the first, with the last card we read in the one and see the, uh, the, 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 the discourse of Africa may seem bad to some critics, but the U.S. was actually freeing Africa from a lot of their dependence on other countries, such as China, who were trying to use it for economic gain. So it's the best of two worlds, which also answers their an argument on the fill, or their argument on the bottom of the alliance is that about conditioning bad, the link level, uh, plain decimates U.S. ability to build strong economic relations to Africa. Africa wants security first. It's a prerequisite to development and a key signal that the U.S. places their demands over its own strategic interests, which is key to making which significant effect effects its best friend. The arms sales are the critical inter uh, critical to relationship building. The link is reverse causal. Link to uh, 12. Security guarantees are visible growth signals of commitment. Patrons have continuously reassured allies to support presence of the military relationship is most significant trace for government. Eventual arms countries that accepted arms under operated under the assumption that such an acceptance to do with the substance of uh, alliance with Washington countries have received U.S. arms for hosted military advisors and technicians building stronger and overall military to military relationships. China also has things to offer, uh, which uh, which takes out a lot of the link level here as well. The uniqueness debate. Brands card is all in the context of East Asia, not applicable to Africa. They don't see the spillover because there's not a common ground and there's a lot a uh, lot of more uh, military integration with Africa that hasn't been reduced. Force them to read specific thumpers. The U.S. is great in Africa now. Garrett Mon, 19. The U.S. needs to remain, uh, re remain an engaged country with interagency partners. Africa command implement defense strategy bilateral engagement to strengthen security increasingly so important and it's a defective regional aggression to encourage cooperation threats are transnational in nature. The G5 Sail Hill Alliance improves security capabilities defense industry and institution building is a huge priority. Focus on foundations, multi-tier effect, trade power competition with China and Russia continues in Africa. Russia is an arms supplier. China has long-term strategy. The bill and dissent. Chinese has why expansion against nuclear removes the pacifying effect of U.S. leadership and causes countries like Russia. Oh, the U.S. hedge arc back on the alliance to said it begs the question of consequences. If we're right that it's good, then it should be advocated for. It's not racist. Not con if it's consequentialist decision that minimizes harm to black folk. Saying that unipolar military balance is good is distinct from saying that all global policing is good. That's what their card is about. Uh, fill in. Chinese SOI expansion because nuclear removes the pacifying effect to its leadership and causes countries like Russia, China, India, Japan, and Iran to bid for power and tenders in security. Massive refugee crisis that encourages revisionist states to directly challenge the U.S., which escalates. That's finding her in case. China has expansionist and selfish means in Africa specifically. She institutes labor camps and minority oppression in his country, and we do the same if they're global regime. We also have evidence that they are expanding their national influence to serve their self-interest, which, necessar which necessarily means uh, devaluing the, their prioritization of African nations. The uniqueness debate. The U.S. is outcompeting China. Liberal CIT co policy cuts a past bureaucracy and expands our sales. The U.S. is outcompeting China. Now that's crucial for strategic competition. But Singer 19, China remains the smallest arms comp exporter compared to the U.S. Overall, we dependent on sales to a few countries. They increasingly oversee arms sales to be used to the advanced in strategic interest. self have an increasing range of Chinese arms sales to Africa and in readiness to sell mostly advanced weapon systems with no strange to prices below Western and increasingly figure in the growing strategic competition influence the contours of alliance in different geographic areas. U.S. influence in Africa is dominant now, but China is willing to militarize their office actually skip that card. Even if they win, Russia doesn't matter. Our arguments are just about how Chinese influence affects U.S. balance. And uh, even if they win, that China does have some influence now, the U.S. still has more within it, and it's linear. The link debate, China will definitely fill in and use it for expansion. It's a strong internal link. Matthew 17, Beijing endgame is longer in term geopolitical strategic influence. No question that policy appeals to second and third tier, tier military states. The opportunity to diversify versus China is amenable to a tech transfer. They'll fill in the gap. Arms sales are a proxy for influence. Ruben 14, other governments will fill the gap. China would become more influential country to our interests encouraging aggression and demanding damaging U.S. influence. Aid serves to secure basing rights over flight barriers to and access for interesting military recessions. Aid as an instrument of power can be incentive for countries to change behavior. We'll take prep.
stop prep 546. Uh, the order is the advantage, then framing, then the alliances disad, the China disad, and then T. Okay, is anybody not ready? Okay, cool. The role of the judges is a signal and orientation of black desires beyond white universes. They can see to me as a storytelling of freedom where imagination creates reality through unconscious determinations of actions as pragmatic too impacts that outweigh their off cases. First is colonialism, our last major gentle to win the occupant form by preventing Torah's course of armed strategies of ending feminine property from exploitation. Second is erasure, propagating African stories unaligned with Western history, combat stories associated with uncivilized, generating the spiritual energy necessary and minority communities survive. Alters neurologically how people cope the human engagement with minorities through subverting hegemonic discourses, stories that catalyze political change. They say, Side by side pragmatic or simulation can change stuff. Read the breakout evidence that effectively moves people to engage politics like the Yes We Can movement ran by Obama, which was a form of imagination. They say the U.S. has views that will be on uh, they, 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 that will be on the dis below. They say that there are evidence is supported by anything. We don't need to determine reality blocks out those without institutional power, academia to create to to talk about reality. Plus, we uh, could we could tag all our stories very twenty, which makes application in full framing. Consequences is bad isn't ontology. Actions are bad because of their consequences, but their intent, but their intent, they drop their framing is bad because you wouldn't tell MLK not to give speeches given the possibility of KKK lash out or conclude slavery was bad through consequences by inherent wrongs. Nope, slavery wasn't caused by good intentions. It's it were, it were to violate the unconditional worth of humanity. Uh, the allies said. Nuclear winter would uh, nuclear winter wouldn't happen since they were de since nukes were dismantled before Western countries went into simulations, which would prevent all war. But if they win, nukes do exist. Nuclear war would be good. Nuclear testing already occurred in Africa before Western countries retreated into simulation. Makes impact non unique, but uh, nukes would destroy Western world, which is good to end colonialism. Counterforcing would work. The VMDs are sufficient to counterforce a minuscule one number of nuclear weapons that would be launched. The fact that well, the fact that Western powers have tested nukes in Africa already solved warming since nuclear uh, cooling offsets the effects of warming, which answers are case arguments they can see no late country governments don't exist now it means there will be no for such any alliance declines also means other countries militaries can't exploit since they were dismantled once their countries went to simulations mean africa can't be exploited china they can see china doesn't exist yeah, they're living in simu computer simulations now it means they have no incentive to expand arms sales plus plan uh, they it also can't turn the case since china lives in simulation we have said that the ethical consequence of ending us colonialism in africa is good uh t we meet Plantex in a vacuum. Any violation the 2NC has is just standard for solvency. We solely def defend governmental FMS and DCS reduction. non resolution demands great and ethically generating goalposts that detract from substantive education. Any other metric allows for ask, tan un ta ask tangibly uh, about the topic to meet since, uh, text isn't, uh, since the text of the Plantex isn't the basis for topicality. The first violation literally makes zero sense. It's, framing, it's a framing question about intent. You can answer that by saying you feel good. Our argument is you should evaluate your uh, action based on intent. You should. You can say that you can evaluate based on consequences under our top health term as well. The second violation, we read a piece of evidence that supports excess matter theory, proves that there are infinite universes where some things exist so, uh, in one universe, but not the other. It proves we can't be at, to be at certain things existing or not, but they're, uh, they're mastery to control one real world. It's an investment in anti-blackness that sunlines legitimate black futures and ever, ever, and every limit disad links to that, to, to that, to, the, to their offense. That's that, that's, that's a historicity disad. Their example of an abuse, uh, abuse may be a bit savory, but that doesn't exist this here is a core distinction uh, is a core distinction we've just said certain things and uh, things exist or don't not not that certain things are auto fits and there, uh, there exists no universes where things are de facto good or bad in, in, in intuitions are not sufficient they prove they prove app offense for uh, rely reliance on institutions i'm sorry absolute truth truth is myth and relies on an external standard standard on it on, on it is impossible we have empirics their refusal to explore african stories as a common ground demonstrates witnesses expansion into germany or one psyche procedural fairness and clashes one they can see that we link turn it there Quote, 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 real world interpretation puts black students upon a uh, double standard, uh, upon a uh, double standard upon black students. The TVA seeds power from, uh, from, from the, the TVA seeds a form of story.
we're telling to academia, allowing it to continue defining what is pragmatic and utopian city replanning, casting out African narration as a method of creating cultures of survival as uncivilized and idealistic, which saps spiritual energy from black people as it is for its own revolutionary potential. And it is the affirmative. They conceded that it neurologically it, it binds itself into a white into a white people is defined, allowing them to define neurologically defining what is a human that we do have evidence that supports this symmetry evidence. There are critique opponent theory is wrong. It does prove it does prove our simulation since if there is a world where something exists that is not a di diametric combination, combination that there is a possibility that it does. Our science is correct since reliance on intuitions proves that when it sees world is theoretically possible. Counter trip should be to analyze racial narratives inside the resolution mitigates their influence often since it's centered around the topic. They they try to firm the counter trip. This uh, however the counter trip results yeah. I did all the Yeah, I did that above. The the sci-fi education apple card discards ass sci-fi is an apple, but it's shitty racist sci-fi now. The app is keen to inject new forms of African sci-fi into academia, which is dominated by white stories by Africa now. Uh, okay. We used I think we're still at nine forty, yeah.
I'm good. Okay, here's the order. It's a pretty lengthy one. So hopefully everyone's good. It's gonna be the fill-in disad. The allies disad. Extra T. Framing advantage. Is anyone not ready? Awesome. Quickly extending fill-in in case I win the simulation arguments because it's an independent reason to vote for negative. Their first argument is that China doesn't exist. Yes, they do. That's an equal and opposite to certain each way. So you should assign it a 50% probability because they have no distinguishing words. Our intention are also good in the context of this dissent because we want to help people in Africa more, which proves that it flips both ways. And consequences is the only tiebreaker. They've dropped that sphere about uh, influence expansion that way. China will expand into Africa. The U.S. gets out of that, which causes them to take over influence, cause a bunch of wars, the collapse of globalism and uh, nuclear conflict as the U.S. tries to reclaim its balance. Though no, our next argument is that ending colonialism is good, but you don't solve that. You you can see it China fills in, makes the colonialism worse in Africa, which our evidence has statistical studies to back up. The allies doesn't all answer all the nuclear war doesn't matter things first. And nuclear testing makes it non-unique. Those are way smaller, don't cause extinction or mass death. Nuclear, which is far larger, which you should care about linearly. Second, they say destroying the Western world is good. No wars, and the war is in Africa, you genius. It's obviously kills more African people because that's where the nuclear drops. Second, what happened to the whole unconditional human value thing that you were talking about? Unframing proves that that's a bad thing as well. It, it doesn't actually solve any of their impacts. Next is counterforce, but there's still a nuke winter, even if you counter for some of the weapons. Second is that we have trash accuracy from ballistic missile defense. They have no evidence. It's not sufficient to stop it. Next, there's nuclear cooling offsets warming. The impact of warming is environmental. The nuclear cooling will still destroy biodiversity and cause all the deaths, which is sufficient to trigger our, our impact. They don't cancel out. That's silly. Framework. Our interpretation, uh, the, it's impossible to justify an app ballot. Here, the word fairness is not said once in the one AR. There's no ballot or competition keyword. First, it's a ballot pick clear, and the two and C totally drop. You can agree with everything in the one and C. Tell them their uh, science fiction is good. They have no reason why they need to get the ballot for it. No reason why negation is key, which proves that fairness is the only impact that your ballot can solve, and the only justification for it. There's have no role for the negative in debate because they have reasons why them saying science fiction is good and providing it, but they have no reason why it's good for us to disagree with them. They also can see that fairness is the precondition for the debate. Why are we flowing? How does debate make any sense? Absent fairness, etc. Uh, the alternative causes judges to lapse on the bias and make debate less valuable, makes everyone less motivated, etc. It's a precondition for any possible impact. Second, if they drop the debate, doesn't shape subjectivities. Individual round can't change the contours of our imagination. And so many all cause that way. Also, by the fact that people read arguments they don't believe in all uh, the time, the only way that debate can actually shape our subjectivity is far more nuanced and long-term by making us a little bit smarter and more knowledge, which uh, turns their offense because the reason they think science fiction is good is because it results in better outcomes for black people. Uh, line by line. First argument is that non-rest is shifting goalposts. First, it is based in the result. Uh, or sorry, um, our interpretation of the rest has two components. First, the app doesn't get to select a world. The, the only distinction between the empirical world and the one imagined by the plan should be less arms are sold, uh, which is an extra T-based argument. Second, it should means the debate is about consequences of arms, not the way the app describes things and what their intentions are. Their first argument is non-rest that was answered above. But uh, even if our offense massively outweighs, they continue to explode limits. I'm not going to go through the same case list. It's not like a normal framework that it makes debate slightly less good. Their interpretation literally breaks debate. They can see that they can read an app where they specify uh, what of the many worlds where uh, arm sales are axiomatically bad and the neck can't say anything or just say my intentions are good and that's the whole one I see and then sit down and then read a plan text and then the neck also has nothing to say. The first They say the first is a framing question. No, it doesn't. It's, we define words based on should. Says it has to do with consequences. Second, it is a framework question because it's a question of how you evaluate the debate, not just about what makes actions good or bad. This next is infinite universe. It's all group that debate here. If we win this, we can win even if we lose framework. Aren't, uh, there's two... Uh, re uh, oh, sorry. Put that on another flow. Do you... It's wrong three reasons. First, it begs the question of a larger scientific debate in which they're the minority science for. They don't have the qualms to make this with uh, great claims requires great evidence. Second is they're butchering the theory. There's minor differences based on probability function, but not something as drastic as the app. Third, it's alternative universe could have been created in the past, but that's irrelevant because we can't reach any of those. We can only alter which ones occur in the future via changing our actions. They say the theorems are basically just, but you can't know anything for sure, but they, you can make probabilistic assessments, which is good because we need to make the changes to empirically improve the world, which is proven by the tautological nature of all their arguments. They've said that uh, we need to uh, dismiss consequences because it results in bad things for black people. So uh, the scenario planning is good because it results in good things for black people. These are all consequential claims that prove the marriage for us. It's also normatively bad because we should care about real world improvements, anything. And if we win this, but lose tea, you should vote neg because the app is bad and we've impact turned their methodology. Um, back to the line ballot. 
they say one world decimates black futures. No, uh, there are other new potential future worlds like the plan. They can see the plan is an example of good science fiction. They just can't do all their framing contentions into a, where the only difference is uh, the, the, the reduction in arm. And you also don't need to literally believe that science fiction works or you don't need the ballot in order to solve any of this. The historicity just said you've dropped. It's inevitable from experiences with real life that people have and that the TVA solves this because you break out of it. They say that intuitions are sufficient. Empirics with answer above. They say there's no absolute truth. Probabilistic claims solve this. They say that stories are evidence. No, because your evidence literally says fiction in it. It's not an evidence based on empirics, but what people imagine to say it's absolute energy. The TVA solves this because they can read the app, but not with all their preempt uh, shenanigans that they can win the debate on independently. They say there's no, uh, there's also no endpoint to that energy or reason is good. Clash also solves because we can better find endpoints. They say neurologically framework that has no internal link to the neurology stuff. They say their evidence also has no qualifications and individual rounds can't shape 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 can't kind of trip should analyze. They drop the indict. It's not in the context of the resolution. It's in the context of an entirely uh, different phrase. The framing, we should care about consequentialism. Any other thing else is logical, which I'll just think above. Both of the examples they give, consequentialism would determine the opposite way and the role of the ballot and stuff on case all solved by framework. I answered all of it on the line by line. Our framework solves, it comes first. I'll start from.
Wait, what was the argument you made in the middle that was like, if we win this, the app is independently bad on T? Just like the simulations part. Like independent of T, if we win simulations, it disproves the method of the app. If the order is the case, framing the this side and the T. Wait. I'm pretty sure it was the simulation arc. If you tell me where it is, I could. It might be a different arc. Uh, I got it. Debate is in Rita. Storytelling is Pichak, who are imagination creates reality. Proves the only role to judge is to build a beautiful universe of blackness beyond white windows and sires. Me too. Have a categorical comparative to endorse black freedom to traditionally dispensed by civil society to impact the storytelling. The plan expands debate as conceptions of reality beyond one traditional schema. Blacks using the master's tool to create futures of liberation is model futures of the sass. The potential for spirituality since they tie HTC to the master's hands is conspire to the dissatisfaction to give psychic energy to liberate beyond Afro depressionism and battle fatigue, which is a prerequisite to hypo discussions. And they've also conceded to resolve colonialism because arms are being used in a cybergenic trend. Transformation technology for improperability that creates lock dependency upon the master's ideals, ruined by the DRC civil war conditioning on counterinsurgencies, etc. The framing contention do not the framing contention. They've conceded consequentialism is bad. This is an implication because every impact of the dishad relies on the consequence of the plan, not its intrinsic evaluation. You shouldn't evaluate it since extinction of waste is different from saying the consequence of an action leading to death is a good form of impact framing. Consequentialism is wrong, preferred an intent-based framework, which allows us to justify morality. There's infinite speculative consequence, infinite speculative. Sorry, I wasn't timing this thing on Does anyone have time? We got to stop this at time. Uh, you're at 4.05. Okay. There's infinite speculative consequences in an action, but you wouldn't tell Omo K not to process given KKK latch out the cost is more death. And we don't have to engage in tons of calculations to determine that slavery is good or bad, but it's intrinsic wrongness, which would, and if Gentile, colon, if, if Gentile colonialism is intrinsically bad, which you've proven via the case to be, you don't have a, you have an obligation not to evaluate to this that we're safe and seated, which doesn't matter, even if they win, even if they win the third year is true. Go to the allies, this and now. First is alliances don't exist. First is alliances, this and well, alliances don't exist in the South. So all leaders in countries have, have moved into computer simulations to live in life of descendants, which means that there wouldn't be any leaders in Africa to perceive alliance of clients. They are missing the boat with the dissent a link to basic concede from that military institutions like Africa don't exist, which means there wouldn't be any form of cooperation anyways. The whole what happens to the unconditional value of humanity thing doesn't make any sense. The only unconditional worth of humanity is to sacrifice the entire universe since our entire argument is that the universe relies upon the leading Africa from the web archive, which is the Achama war unique to claim that they have not contested proves nuclear war assault. They can see there are no nuclear nuke weapons defense that would be no nuclear winter attacks in the status quo because it, it there are no nuclear weapons in existence. They were, were destroyed once Western powers started living in simulations in order to check a law annihilation. However, before all nukes were destroyed, they conceded Western powers tested nukes in Africa, which is their nuclear winter stuff, which caused a cooling effect that would be offset by warming. So it cannot turn any of the case off into consequentials and stuff. Also applies topicality. Ask yourself, the valve pick is irrelevant. We, they haven't extended a net benefit besides fairness. We never said that it's bad, so it doesn't matter. Neither, then, neither is their argument of the subjectivity, since our argument is never the, about knowledge productions of what, with the way their interpretation is exploited, deployed, and debate. Extend plan text in a vacuum. Expertise, non responses this is about the difference between the wording of the plan and their interpretation. They have no alternative basis for a plan text in a vacuum, but they can see anything else turns their offense that allows teams to be tangentially related to the resolution of the plan is not the only thing that matters. Extend the white narratives that said, here's how you should evaluate it. It's not a dissent to their model, nor the text is interpretation. But an epimus epistemic filter that questions whether you should evaluate the violation. And RFDs and mirrors Jeremy, Jeremy's two and R and says the one AC does not operate inside the reality that we all know and love. It's the very one that is that operates through the very same gut checks and knives, a trope of black experience. The way they affirm the violation sees the control storytelling, the academic tropes, the line quote, the elite, and academia to define what constitutes pragmatism, utopianism, reality, empirics, etc., which are all codes from the two and T and two and R. Testing out African narrations and method designed as uncivilized and idealistic, which have spiritual energy from black people to destroy all revolutionary. 
substantial distance of an independent external unpacking with the imagination phrase reality self and case and the fact that they have conceded the role of the judge proves you have a categorical comparative to timeline violations that rely upon gut checks and empirical definitions. The expertise argument makes no sense. Extend in a world series or that intuitions are inherently in of themselves unverifiable since they rely upon an external standard presumption, which they agree with proves the reliance upon empirics is unverifiable. And if there's a world where we can imagine without uh, there being a if there's a world we can imagine without there being a direct contradiction, that world is possible. The framing violation is incoherent. They can see you can reuse so bad with solves all of your offense. They have never conceded you could just read arms are perfect in some world because we've only said certain things don't exist, not certain things are de facto good or uh, de facto good or de facto bad, which is impossible since everything is up to constitution. But even if uh, this is true, that's inevitable given the thesis of infinite world theory. The minority in science argument is not argument. They have no evidence or arguments to back this up. We are not butchering them. We are not butchering science. We've made an argument that proves the world of the one that exists because if we can imagine it, there's a possibility. For example, it is true that unicorns exist since there's a world that is true, but it's not true that a married person is not married. We can, the argument that we can't reach any thesis in a matter since it relies upon the idea that we are not already in the simulation in, in the first place. In the first place, we answer uh, the, we break, the, we answer the uh, solving science fiction offense in Neville. We conceded the two and two card you read on science fiction and said that it's offense for us because people are taught shitty science fiction and status quo to, to teach that Africa is a colonial wasteland that can be up to exploitation, but only the ask reintegration of reality of solves all of this offense. Yeah. Right. Is that there's not one definition of what constitutes empirics, even if their offense is persuasive, it's arbitrary at best and does not violate the text of the interpretation. Also, the consequences. A good round. Good debate. Good debate. Uh, should we send out a card doc? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need cards. Okay, figured that. Jeremy, yep. can you check your Facebook? Wait, what do you say? Can you check your Facebook? Oh, sure. I just oh. oh. Uh, by the way, Lex, just for disclosure purposes, what are you calling this app? Black Juju Tech. Did you tech?
Okay, uh, is everyone ready? Um, one of four. Okay. Yeah. One of four. Does everyone hear my computer's a little bit weird right now? Yeah, I get I got the echo. Too. No, I'm here. Okay. Okay, so I voted neg. So I essentially think that the app is lacking impacts that are unique to their model of fiating within a different reality. So while I do agree that plain text in a vacuum is able to take out the intentions argument that the negative is making, I don't think that plain text in a vacuum is necessarily able to take out the argument of like or should be able to fiat actions that occur within necessarily a different reality. So I now have to evaluate, I, try, I now have to try and figure out which impacts I necessarily evaluate first. And I end up concluding that the app is lacking impacts that are unique to your model being able to fiat within a different reality. So you have, in, so the impacts you've isolated on case and then the, and then the, and then the, I think you called it the white narratives they said. Well, but both, I don't, uh, t the impacts of isolated on case are probably resolved by the TVA, such as like read those as analogy, but still have the fiat occur within like the empirical world, which the negative is isolated. The empirical world is one that can be t looked, evaluate the past and test and tested for future. Uh, I is so I'm tr so I think the TVA is able to resolve some of those advantages. So I so I look at the white narratives this ad. And you even flagged it in the two AR is not necessarily as much of a disset to their model, but a question of like which impacts do I evaluate and how should I try and filter them? So I try to so I look at that and like how should I like evaluate fairness as it operates like within this debate round? And then it gets a bit messy because I don't have a ton of great offense from the affirmative against like the negative spare against the negative fairness push that are like I think the negative has done a good job at like the top of like the framework portion of the debate as to like why it's a necessarily good impact and why necessarily voting negative is not a disagreement with the affirmative, but rather it could be a way, it's just like, it's just essentially a method of making the debate more fair. And you need more explicit answers to like some of this top level stuff that they've been saying. So like essentially the way you could be able to win is to have just like more clear answers to fairness. Uh, I don't think the question of like, are all these realities real? Yes or no? Was that was l less important to my RFD because I think that it's not a question of it's not to me it was not as much of like how much like are infinite realities real? Yes or no? But whether or not the affirmative should be able to talk about a potentially different reality, but I ended up determining that it was like gutted fairness because it becomes impossible to be able to predict which reality the affirmative could take place and you can end up operating within a reality that could like have arm sales just automatically be bad so it's impossible for the negative to win. Do you have any questions? I'm sorry, I feel like that was a little bit messy. No, that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if nobody else is going to ask, do you think it's a good idea to just quickly extend a disad in these kind of debates? When you know, I did not, I did not, I did not like the disad extension. No, I think you should have just gone all. I think you should have just gone all in on like the framework debates because I don't. The disad, it didn't really. I don't know. I, I'm glad I didn't really have to think about that part of the debate because that would have been messier, to, a lot more messy to think about. But I think your time would have been more well spent just going all in on like the framework portion of the debate. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. Um, but I guess if in a world where we don't go to the disad page, how should we preempt like the plain text in a vacuum? Because they do read like a topical plain text. Um, how yeah. do you think we can preempt that better and more efficiently? I was actually thinking about this. I think you should have extended the substantial definition that you read on the other T violation and be like plain text in the vacuum you still don't meet. There's I know I'm not sure if that's this is the card you read, but I know there's cards that say substantial means material. So it could be like even if other realities exist, it has to take place within the material well, one as per the resolution. Well, well even crucial plantex. support for our inter but wouldn't they still meet under plain text in vacuum because their plain text just says substantial? Yeah, their their plain text does say Africa just regularly. It doesn't say anything sci-fi. So, yeah, but then yeah, but I think like questions like cross X and stuff like that make it very clear the affirmative is operating not necessarily within that reality, okay. necessarily within that reality. If that makes sense, so I think just like a quick extension, like a quick cross application of like this substantial thing, you could just like force them to be like, yeah, the plain text in a vacuum is not necessarily topical if they've isolated that it takes place within like a reality that like is not the material one. 
Okay, that makes sense. That's all I have, but...